Welcome back, everybody. We're spicing things up on today's show. So if you're looking for some new, fun, different recipes, and I think we all get into a rut, you know? Yeah. Um, sometimes you got to change things up, get a little crazy, make something different. Shane and Liz from Make Me Hot Meals are here with a fun one, a buffalo chicken lasagna roll-ups. First of all, good to see you, ladies. Hey, good Thank to see you, you. too. Thanks. Always good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. And for people who don't know about what you guys do, um, talk about spicing things up. Yeah. Well, how cool <laughs> would it be to come home from work and already have dinner done? And that's what you guys do. Tell us a little that bit about what we Make do. Me Hot Meals. Yeah. Yep. So Make Me Hot Meals is a website. It's makemehotmeals.com. And our menu is there. And basically, you look at the menu, you select things that sound yummy, and we make them and deliver them to your home. Um, so they're delivered fresh. You can throw them in the freezer if you don't need them that week. And then you have a really quick dinner on nights where maybe you have practice really late or maybe you're going back to school and you're in school really late, whatever the case is. Or maybe you just want to eat healthy or lose some weight in the new year or whatever and you need some help. And I love the fact that it is healthy. That's, that's the thing. Uh, sometimes it's very hard for us to get in gear about how do you cook healthy. Um, yeah. um, and, and it tastes great. And to still, yeah, to still make it right, fun is right, the biggest thing. Right. It's not like um, we're eating the rice cakes. You yeah, know so I mean? Liz, and I sit, <laughs> Liz and I sit and ponder these things and yeah. come back to you with really fun stuff so you can focus on what's important in your life. And more affordable than you think. So yeah. uh, check out their website. But right now, it's yeah. going to get cooking. So Let's buffalo go. chicken lasagna, I have to admit, I am all over buffalo wings. Oh. I, mean, I like love <laughs> so them. Good. So good. So and it's so a good. combination of almost all the best things about it. You have the chicken, you have the celery that you usually eat yeah. on the sides, you yeah. have the little dip, and it's all together. Yeah. So we're starting out with some boneless chicken tenders. Yes. So we pre grill every chicken that's on our menu. Um, we pre grill so that it gets a lot of nice flavor, and then we hand shred it so you get actual big chunks of chicken instead of little diced pieces. It's, that's a huge difference. It's uh, a little bit of time, yep. but I'll tell you, it makes everything it taste does. better. I mm. am not a fan of, I don't like the pre done chicken breasts that you, uh, mm -hmm. the, the texture of them, the flavor is no good, you know Mama? what I mean? Uh, no, thank you. Thank <laughs> you, though. Um, I'll wait for it to get the recipe. But the fact that you take the time to, yeah. you know what I mean, it yeah. makes a, a big difference. It so. does. We have a, a menu item right now called, it's called artichoke a chicken, which is sort of funny. Um, but it's an artichoke chicken and spinach lasagna roll-up, so it's very mm. similar to what we're making. Yeah. Um, and we do the same thing with the chicken. But if you were looking for a shortcut, could you take a rotisserie chicken and absolutely. kind of pull that yeah. apart? Yeah, you could use leftover chicken. chicken. Right. Um, you could use a knife and chop it, which would ab absolutely be faster. Well, you know what? Doing. Actually, I, um, you know, when I roast chicken breasts, I do them all at, at once, and they pull apart very easily yeah. when they're yeah. a little bit warm. It's not so, so bad. Look, you know. I just did like yep. two chicken yep. breasts in no time. Perfect. So I'm going to wipe my fingers. Okay. And I'm going to chop the celery okay. while you guys do some of the other stuff. Okay. So we've got two stalks of celery mm -hmm. um, and that was about four boneless. Yeah. Things. So I would say it was two chicken breasts two chicken because breasts. we had okay. four little tenders. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Now we're going to make the buffalo sauce that's going to bind us all together. Exactly. exactly. So we're going to start with about a quarter cup of mayonnaise with olive oil. Okay. And what Instead of, we could easily make this recipe with sour cream or just squirt a bunch of ranch dressing in there, but we're not going to do that. That's not what we do. So we're going to use mayo with olive oil. Okay, which you guys are a big fan of that. We use just a little bit of that along with Greek yogurt and it okay. gives you that creamy, still delicious flavor that you like with stuff like this. So we have about a half a cup of Greek yogurt that's going in there. It's non-fat Greek yogurt. Plain, amazing. the plain, which plain. is a great and Make sub. sure you don't mix that yeah, up with yeah. vanilla. You don't want vanilla. <laughs> you right, don't want right, vanilla. Right. Well, it's an clean. easy switch to make. You <laughs> it know? Would, yeah. yeah, you know, and you, yeah. It, it's not going to taste near as so good. So that's going to give you that delicious, creamy little flavor. Okay, so and it's mayo and, and the olive oil mayo and the yes. plain yogurt. Okay, so you the got two it. of them together. All right, now how are we going to make this taste, uh, you know, buffalo-y? We have about a quarter cup of hot sauce. Okay. And our hot sauce go right in there and that's going to give you your spice and buffalo flavor. Yeah. It's a personal preference too how much of that you put in there. You okay. Know, it just depends. Yeah. So. Yep. That's starting to smell just go. like wings. And, and what about the seasoning? And then we have some ranch seasoning from Penzi's. Okay. So we mix that in there and Penzi's seasonings are the best. We love them. We use yeah, them all the time. Great and then stuff. we have a bunch of feta cheese we're going to throw in there. Okay. We're going to save a little bit of it to go on top. Okay. So you mix all that in. That's easy enough. It's super easy. And smell it. It smells uh, fantastic. Yeah, it smells incredible. All I smell is chili. <laughs> <laughs> That's from earlier, Shana. <laughs> so we have pre-cooked lasagna noodles here that she's going to lay out. Okay, so the you reason, boil these up. Yeah, boil these up, um, soak them in cold water so that they don't get stuck together, and then you're ready to use them. Um, and the thing is, we lay them out so that we can really see that they each get about the same amount of stuff in okay. them, um, instead of doing one at a time. So find a cutting board or an area on your cupboard where you can kind of lay those out. So one, basically one roll-up is going to serve a probably meal. one yeah, person? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, it looks yeah. like that there's mm -hmm. going to be plenty of food yeah, there. These oh, are yeah. beautiful organic lasagna noodles. and um, I was going to say they look extra They're wider pretty. and yeah. shorter, mm -hmm. yeah. so they're more easy to stuff than your long, skinny little lasagna noodles that you would layer with. Sure, you know? sure. 
Almost got you there. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> all right, let's roll. Go ahead, roll them up. It's easy. Third, third, right? Put that in there. And just, just seam side seam down. Seam side down. Yep. Super okay. easy. Flip, flip. Seam side down. And into a casserole dish. Or a baking dish. Yep. Whatever. And now, you um, have. if you're doing this like in the morning, yeah. uh, or maybe you're doing a bunch of them, doubling the recipe, you can certainly just do these ahead and then park them in the fridge until baking. <laughs> totally, absolutely. More feta cheese over the yep. top. And we have some mozzarella if you want to sprinkle that on yep. top too. Yep. We use reduced fat mozzarella on there. Yum. And then this will just melt on top when we put them in the oven. Everything inside of it is already baked, so the inside just needs to warm up. Just basically. a quick, yep. quick warm. And we want to melt the cheese on top. All right, so real important to cover this with foil, though. It is, because there's no liquid on the bottom. Okay, yeah. And all we're doing is warming it and melting the cheese. So okay. we don't want to leave it uncovered because right. it would dry out the yes. noodles. Yes, yep. very true. Yeah, okay. so I'm going to scoot. You want to scoot over there? I can hardly <laughs> wait. I got, got it. In. I got it. Oh, wow. And this here they are. <laughs> oh, pretty excited about this. Serve this with a nice salad. Exactly. And Kind of the, the taste, oh my gosh, does that smell good. And Ooh. we use reduced fat cheese, so you're mm -hmm. just going to get a little bit of the, but it smells delicious. It absolutely does. You oh. could throw fresh parsley on there or some like little green onions if you wanted a little color. We realized as we were sitting here, like, <laughs> everything's kind of white in there. Well, we have some scallions. <laughs> we can dress it up, but um, it's going to taste fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, for people who are at home thinking, you know, I'm kind of curious about this make me hot meals whole thing. Yep. How can people find you and find out the different menus and things like that? Everything is online, makemehotmeals.com. Every question that you have that you want answered is probably there, and if it's not, the email address is right there, the phone number is right there, the menu, the way to order, the question, everything is there. And um, there's also a really cool Facebook page where we post some fun stuff, pictures from today, things like that. So if you want to just follow us and see what's going on, that's a good place too. And the meals will be actually delivered to your house. Correct? Yes. Okay. We don't like deliver hot meals that you would just eat that second. We right. deliver meals that are you know cold, and you would then you heat them, which exactly. is great. Exactly. You heat them when you want them. Exactly. Uh, ladies, what are we making next time? We are making some mushrooms in a crock mushrooms. pot. Ooh. Yeah. They're a little spicy and so I like that. juicy kind of and delicious. Ooh, I can hardly <laughs> wait. So stick around. We have some more recipes to spice up your life coming up. <laughs>